أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا ونور قلوبنا وقرة عين محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارئ وسلم نوعنا تعلم وتعاني متذكر وتذكر ونفع والانتفاع والإفادة والاستفادة والحث على تمسك بكتاب الله وسنة رسوله صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم ودعاء إلى الخدى ودلالة على الخير ابتغاء وجه الله ومرضاته وقربه وثوابه سبحانه وتعالى مع لطف وعافية برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم إن نسلك العلم لدني مشرب الصفي الهاني يا وهاب يا غني اللهم إن نسلك العلم لدني مشرب الصفي الهاني يا وهاب يا غني اللهم إن نسلك العلم لدني مشرب الصفي الهاني يا وهاب يا غني وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين أمين الحمد لله um, last week I went through the lesson I went through the um, I went through the uh, the apa? synthesis right synthesis of of um, the first chapter I finished going through all of it right or not or I told you all to go and try yourself I went I went through and away do you remember <laughs> 18 18 eh here yeah. oh, okay so we're doing 19 today alright let's do 19 today okay number 19 uh, التعلم في الصغر كالنقشي على الحجري okay let's try and figure out what this means together eh التعلم التعلم what does it mean التعلم It's one of the words that we took. It is the word number 18. Number 19 lah. That's the word. What is that? Alum. The alum. I'm showing from my, from my phone. What's the meaning of the alum? Mm, to study. Study. Because the alum, the alum, Ta'allum means to study, kan? So, studying, uh, ta'allum, studying, fi sigar. Uh, what is the meaning of sigar? Uh, search the word, search the word. If any new word, you, you, it's, it's basically, it's practice lah. In the beginning of learning Arabic, you'll, take, you'll be very, you'll be trudging through. You'll be trudging through. Every word point going to search. Every word going to search. But it's good. That is good. After all, you get the hang of it, inshallah. Why is silver? Smallness, yes. Sagir means means to be small. So sagar, search the word. Look for the word sagar. It's from the word small, yes. It's from the word small. But it can't be like studying in smallness, right? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Studying in smallness. Studying in what? Studying in if you look at the sa ra ra such it up sa ra ra okay so sa ra ra itself means to be small right let me just open up this way no. okay so sa ra ra means to be small you search 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 Okay, there. Sigar is a smallness, littleness, scantiness, <laughs> paltriness, paucity, insignificance, youthfulness. Getting closer, eh? Juvenility. Mm, what do you think? What do you think is the, the most, the, 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 the word that probably it means here? Yeah. Young music? Yeah. Childhood, childhood. 
right, studying in childhood. Okay, child, studying when young. Okay, studying when young. What was the sentence just now? Studying when young. What was it? Studying when young. Kanakashi. Uh, what is nakash? Now if I knew it. Nakash. Nakash. What is nakash? What is nakash? You all have the app, right? I hope you all have the app. You know, looking through the app. Nakasha. Nakash. Kan nakashi ala hajar. So, Nakasha, what do you find? Hmm? Engrave? Hmm, engrave is a good idea, right? Engrave, eh? Because if you look at the word Nakasha, let me share that term again from my, from my, from my son. So, I share from here. Keep sharing my screen. Okay. Okay. So here, if I look at the word nakasha, right? Nakasha. Nakasha yang kushu, dapper, make many colored dob, various colors, all not appropriate. Paint, chisel, sculpture, carve, and grief. Okay, now it looks like it's correct. Right? You look further down. Uh, painting, picture, drawing, engraving, inscription, engraving. Alright. So if I go back to my word, kanakshi ala hajar. And what is hajar? Uh, hajar as what? What is hajar? Hajar means stone. Naam. So now the sentence makes sense. Right? Studying in childhood, study when you're young. It's like carving on stone. It's like carving on stone. It sticks. It sticks. I like teaching something when they're young. It's like carving on stone. Okay? This is what I want you all to do. Like word for word. Search it up. <laughs> Put in the, the effort. Lah, eh? It's a lot of work. Lah, one by one. But it will pay off. It will pay off. Okay. Um, Alimni kitabat risalati bil arabiyah okay alimni is one of our, of, of our words right alimni what is alimni teach teach me right teach uh the knee at the back remember i told you all about the the, the yeah. dan-ons yeah right. teach me right. teach me alimni teach me kitabata it's not kitab, but kitabata. There is a tam marbuto at the end. Okay? So, kitab, you know, kitab means book. Kataba means to write. Kataba. So, okay, without checking, if you want to check, you can check also after you. But give a good guess. What does it mean? Kitabata. Teach me what? Teach me how to write. Ah, teach me how to write. Teach me writing. Kitabata is a form of masdar. It's a masdar usage. Right, Ta'alim also is a masdar usage. So when you go to the sentences, you begin to understand this masdar thing more. Right, what is this masdar? Right, Ta'alim, like studying. Right, uh, kitabata, that means uh, writing letters or writing a letter. A letter. Risala is a letter. Bil Arabiya. In Arabic. Right, teach me letter writing. Okay, kitabata risala. Is letter writing. Teach me letter writing in Arabic. <laughs> I guess they're all nouns. Eh? The, whole, the whole thing here is noun. Only this is the only verb. It's a command, it's a command tense. The rest of them are all nouns. There are no verbs anywhere else. <laughs> so teach me letter writing in Arabic. Okay, at any point in time, if any of the sentence doesn't make sense to you, or the translation doesn't make sense to you, um, just tell me. Okay, what we're going to focus on uh, is how to translate. And because, because you're going to open up more and more Arabic books, you must know how to translate stuff. <laughs> right.
Okay, number 21. I'alam anna al-alma noor. I'alam. What does I'alam mean? What, what tense is it? What tense is it? It's a past tense. Is it a past tense? Yeah. Remember, it is a sukun at the end. It's an instruction. Instruction, yes. No. Alama ya alama ya alimu. Alima ya alamu. Alima ya alamu. Alm. Right? So, i'alam. No. Annal alma nur. No. That. Just guess this one means that lie. Right? No. That. Yeah, know that knowledge is light. <laughs> senang. <laughs> right, the, the, words are, the words are familiar. The words are familiar then senang. Very easy. Uh, know that knowledge is light. Anna al-alma nur. The knowledge is light. La astati'u an afhama kalamaka. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pass them, yeah. That was slow down for a while. Okay, 22. Everybody search up the words. Search up all the words that you don't know. La astati'u. So, astati'u, you see what form is it. So, once you can identify what form it is, you can eliminate all the extra letters. Uh, if you can identify what form is it, you can eliminate the extra letters. And that will leave you with the root word. Right. Okay, so as the third high chances is the form 10. Right, it's form 10, that means the A is I. A is for, for me, eh? I, myself. Sin and ta is part of the form. Right, it's uh, is taf ala yes taf ilu. Right, sin and ta is part of the form 10, which leaves you with a root word, pa ya ain. Ta ya ain is a root word. So you search it up. Ta ya ain. Ta ya ain. Okay. So ta ya ain. Hmm. Ah, what do you find? I can't find ta ya ain. Ta ya ain. Toya Ain is a big word. Okay, you look at Toya Ain and then you see they say okay, let me share my screen eh. <laughs> share my screen again. Um I'll show you something it is they'll tell you. So when you Okay, when you look at Toya Ain Okay. So I search Toya Ain, then what do I find? I find they say Okay, ta ya ain. C ta wow ain. Okay, that means I got the wrong weak letter. Do you see what, what it's saying here? Alright, it's ta ya ain at one side. And it put C ta wa ain. That means you are redirecting me. You are looking at the wrong root word. It's not ta ya ain, it's ta wow ain. Ah, uh, it's ta wow. It's not ta ya. So they told you. They told you that it's not at ya, it's at wow. Uh, so you're gonna search it again. You're gonna search it again. Pa wow ain. So pa wow ain. Right? And I'm gonna search. Okay. Okay, they come up and they say, where's my pa wow ain? Pa wow ain. Pa wow ain. Pa wow ain. There. At the bottom of the page. Pu wa. Pa a. To obey. Ah, there we know. Taat. Right, pa a taat <laughs> taat means to obey taat. Right, pa a yati ang pa a yatu. Uh, so you go further down and you search for 
for form 10. Because we are looking at form 10. Okay. So you see the X are form 10. To be able, be in position to do, to get, to carry out, to take upon, to be capable. To be, to, basically, to means, it means to be able to. Right? It's to be able to. To be able. Right? It means to be able. So, la astatia. The, the word just now was la astatia. That means I'm not able to. Not able to what? So you look at the at the when you look at the sun. Alright. So I'm not I'm not la astatiu. I'm not able to an afhama kalamaka. I'm not able to Fahimaya Fahmu Fahman Understand. Understand. Uh, I'm not able to understand Kalamaka. Your kalam. <laughs> Why is kalam? <laughs> your words lah. Your speech. Uh, your speech. I'm not able to understand your speech. <laughs> La astati'u an afhama kalamaka. I am not able to understand your speech. Hmm. Okay. Ah uh, yes, yes. Istita'a yastati'u. Istita'a yastati'u. Istita'a. Okay. Slow and steady lah. Slow and steady in Arabic eh. <laughs> Man ya'arifu bayta Muhammad. Man ya'arifu bayt. Bayta Muhammad. Ya'arifu. No. no. Right. Who knows? Bayta Muhammad. Bayt. House. Right. Who knows Muhammad's house? Right. Who knows where's his house? Uh, who knows Muhammad's house? Man ya'arifu bayta Muhammad. Who knows Muhammad's house? Hafiztu asma al-ashhur al-arabiyyah. Hafiztu. Hafiza yahfazu. Hifuzan. Hafiztu. Memorize. Mm -hmm. I have memorized. Asma a. The names. Al Ashhuri. Shahar Ashhur. Then be used to shop as a shahar. Why shahar? Shahar Ramadan. Shahar Ramadan. The month, yes, the month. <laughs> so Ashhur is months, but plural. Plural. Right? So I memorize the names of the months. Al Arabia. Arabic. So probably means I memorize the names of the Arabic months. I've memorized the names of the Arabic months. Okay. Okay, number twenty five. Twenty five. A sual. Okay, sual is sual. Last sual. Question. Okay, sual is question. Malay, Malay has taken a lot from Arabic. <laughs> Malay, Malay is everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> you find even that day I just come across the word ra'iya. Ra'iya are those that you are that you are responsible over. The ra'iya uh, is the Malay word ra'iyat. The ra'iyat is actually ain. Ra'iyat, the ra'iyah. So, the ra'iyat lah, the people of the town. The ra'iyat. <laughs> ra'iyah. In Arabic, it means uh, those that you are that you are responsible over. Mm. Uh, interesting ah, uh, <laughs> everywhere. A su'al, question. Uh, the question, a su'al, miftah al-ulum. Miftah. Let's look for the word miftah. Miftah, what's the root word first? Miftah. Fataha, yes. Fataha. Mm. 
We know Fataha. Fataha, Fatiha. Right? Fatiha is the same word. Fatiha. So Fatiha is the opener. At right? the opening chapter. Fataha yeftahu. Fathan. It means open. At right? the opener. At right? the opening. In Arabic, when there is a word with a mim for kasra at the beginning, right? Mim for kasra in the beginning, it usually signifies a tool. Right or um an equipment. Right, a meme. With, sorry, not a kasra. A meme with a kasra in the beginning signifies a tool or equipment. Eh? So the kasra in the beginning me. Right, so like like mimbar, mehrab, miftah. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so it's a tool. So a tool for opening. Fataha means to open. Right, a tool for opening becomes a key. Right, a tool for opening is a key. <laughs> a key opens. Right, in Arabic, if it's a meme with a fatha in front, let me just put it aside. Eh? Meme, right, with a kasra in the front of the word, usually refers to tools. Okay. Right, meme with a domma in front usually refers to person. Allah. Right, person can also be place, possible place, but uh, rarely lah. But meme with a fatha in front usually means place. Okay, so for example, for example, um, like miftah. So I see the meme with kasra in front. I look at my root word, I see fataha, open. A tool for opening, key. Alright? If I see my, my word, um, uh, muallim, for example, eh, the word mu, muallim. This word muallim. Okay, okay. The mu means person. Alama means knowledge. Right, ilm. I see the word ilm. So a person who delivers knowledge, teacher. Right, muallim means teacher. Okay, Muslim, mu'min, munafiq. All mu mu mu. <laughs> I all people, people, people. Okay? And uh, Mufti also. Mufti also is one of those. Mufti. The one who gives fatwa. The one who gives fatwa is a mufti. <laughs> fatwa, the mu in front, becomes mufti. <laughs> okay? Uh, meme with a, with a fatha in front is a place. Like for example, masjid. When I have the word masjid, right, masjid is a place whereby you sujud. Sajada is the root word. Sajada, sujud. Right? So the masjid is a place where you sujud. Masjid lah. <laughs> is a place where you sujud. <laughs> right, if you have a madrasa. Right, madrasa. I'm using familiar words so that you all can, can, can uh, read it. Eh? Madrasa. Darasa, dars. It means lessons. I have to learn and have lessons. So a madrasa is a place where you learn and have lessons. A mudarisa, and mu eh, mudarisa is a person who gives you lessons. So teacher lah, a mudaris. Tamam? A musalla is an exception. Musalla is a place where you pray. But it's a mu. <laughs> it's a ma. It's a mu. Um, but a maktaba, right? Maktaba, right? Maktaba, maktaba. It means a, a library, eh? Right? Maktab, maktaba, library. Found word kitab, kitab. Okay, it's a place where you find books. A place where you find books is called a library. Maktab, ah, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. The Malay word. <laughs> is the maybe the Malays uh, got the wrong idea. <laughs> They thought the Arabs meant the Arabs meant up a library, ke, that school, ke. then they like kill her. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know why why the word became like that. <laughs> and then they go they like hit they heard the Arabs say something and they're like, okay, that's the meaning of the word. <laughs> a lot actually there are a lot of words um from the the Arabic language that the Malays took. There are also words that the English took. And the English I do what Mira. Mira Mira is a very is a very good word. Mir ah. Right? It's from the word ro'a. Ro'a means to see. Mi means a tool for seeing. Right? Ro'a means see. Right? So a tool for seeing is a mirror. Right? And it's too close in its sound to for the boy to that the, the English got their own word. No, it's they probably they probably took it from the Arabs. <laughs> Because the Arab word mirror or mirah has a root word ra to see, so high chances the first people who got that word was that with the Arabs, and the English took the word. They heard the Arabs say mirah, 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 oh mirror. Okay, <laughs> right, so they change it to mirror. You know, there, there, there are a lot of um those 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 words, and I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure that the word harm came from haram. I it's I think high chances lah, eh? because it's, it's too close. So probably when the Arabs were saying haram, haram, <laughs> and then they were like harm, harm, it's harmful. <laughs> so they they just took the words in haram, haram. Things are harmful, and then they took it. Even things like button, I button is stomach in Arabic. I much still say button. The Arab, the English should do a button. And so maybe the Arabs were pointing at the at their stomach, and they're like, "But my button." <laughs> the mis misunderstanding, ah. <laughs> they're pointing at the at the stomach, and you think they're like, pointing at the button at, on the shirt. <laughs> but it's too close to, if for it to not be um some other confused together. Um, the Malay word biadab, and like, biadab is be adab. Uh, be adab means with adab. So if the Arabs were saying that you know, be adab, be adab, have adab, have adab. The mid the Malays were like, oh, it means root, eh? Biadab means root. <laughs> Imagine they were saying, have. It makes sense. It's like, so whenever they see orang biadab, people who are who are root, because biadab in Malay means root. Maybe they saw people people having people being root, so they were like, biadab, 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 and then they were like, oh, biadab means root. <laughs> no, but biadab means they're they're saying have adab, have adab, have adab. <laughs> so the Malays took it as oh, biadab. <laughs> Mashallah, it's too close for it to not be um taken right from each other. The Arab, Arab Arabic is an ancient language, so the English have taken a lot from the Arabs, uh, into the English language. And I, I used to write down all the English words that that actually originally from the Arabic language, but then now I like I forgot a lot of them already. <laughs> okay, um, okay. So Inshallah, uh, so so a sual miftah al ulum. The question is a key to knowledges. A question is a key to knowledges. I'm just going to go through quickly. Like, until 30, so next you can go through the other part. So 26. Ajib is a common tense. Ajib. Answer. Ajaba yujibu. Ajib. Su'ari awalan. Answer my question first. Awalan. Uh, answer my question first. Write down first for your 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 the, the answer first. Then when you go back home, you can uh, when you're at home already. Eh? When you're at home, you can at your own time. You can go and uh try and figure it out. See if you get the correct transition as as, as what I give. Talabat Fatima to nukuda min abiha. Talabat sought right to seek. Fatima nukud. Look up nukud. You find the word money. And right? she sought money from her father. <laughs> Fatima Fatima. I sought money from her father. Okay. Let's write down the answers, eh? 28. Bilishtihadi yunalul maram. Bilishtihadi yunalul maram. And with ishtihad, that means with striving and hard work. Yunal will achieve maram. Maram is, um, is goals, your goals and aspirations. Aspirations are achieved by striving. Okay? Aspirations are achieved by striving. لا تكسل كي لا تندم في المستقبل. 
Okay, la taxel, la taxel, don't be lazy. La taxel, don't be lazy. K, K means so that. Okay, K means so that. So that what? La tandama fil mustaqbal. You can look up tandama, it means regret. So that you will not regret. Fil mustaqbal, mustaqbal means future. I don't be lazy so that you won't regret in the future. The last one is easy, number 30. Uhibbu kira'at al-Qur'an. Uhibbu kira'at al-Qur'an. I love to read the Qur'an. <laughs> Not to read, actually. I love the reading of the Qur'an. Kira'ata is a, is a masdar. Right, so it's not to read, but it's the reading of. Okay? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a noun. It's a noun. I, I love the reading of the Quran. Okay? Or you can even say, I love Quran recitation. Do Kiroa can mean recitation. I love Quran recitation. So it might not be you reading it, it just, but just that, that you like that, that it's read. <laughs> Someone's reading it. So inshallah, that's what we have for today. Inshallah, and I will um, see how lah how I want to just you know maybe do some sort of quiz towards the end. You all may you all memorize the Arabic words. <laughs> it will benefit inshallah in the long run. Inshallah, um, to just go just regress this one. For nineteen, the ka means like. Uh, the ka means like is only used with nouns. Ah yes, number nineteen. There is a ka. Let's see. I go back. Eh? Number nineteen. Bina ka. Number 19 here. Yes, kahim is like. Like. Right, so uh, studying in at, in childhood is like. Yes. It is like um, carving on stone. The ka. Like for example, in, in your solat, you say, Kama sallayta ala Ibrahima. You say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Oh Allah, send flowers unto Muhammad. Ka. Right, like. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim. Like how you slawat on Ibrahim. Uh, so slawat on Nabi Muhammad as how you did with Nabi Ibrahim. Uh, and then, uh, uh, and so, so the, the ka that means like, ka. Okay, so inshallah, we'll stop there for today. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad.